Hi, it's Karen, Charlie, Simone. Yeah, Simone, she's attached. <laughs> so we started, decided we'd start with uh, her being up here because she usually ends up up here anyway. Um, this is a he said, she said video. And actually, it's just a little of our memories, because you folks seem to like uh, when we remember some of the things that have happened to us uh, completely differently. So, Charlie decided he wanted to talk about <clears throat> our vote in Dennis and a day that is well in his memory. Okay. Uh, this is not, uh, not, not so typical day at the marina and the boat. Uh, during the summer, Karen and I would spend almost all our time on the boat. She worked night. She'd come home. I would go down to the boat and sleep. And I worked at home, so I'd leave at the boat and go home and work all day. So this one day, I had an appointment at 9 o'clock in the morning, so <clears throat> I got up early, early, drove home to shower and shave. Now, on my way driving home, <clears throat> I'm just puttering along in my truck, and I look in the rearview mirror, and there's a police car behind me, there's lights flashing and everything, so I pulled over to let him go by. Yeah, he pulled over right in behind me and stopped. And then another car, patrol car pulls in behind him and stops. So, Josh, what the hell did they do? Uh, a young kid walks up, I roll the window down, he said, you know, you don't have commercial parades. Those signs on the truck say to your truck are illegal. Take them off. Yeah, just like that. It was one of the worst attitudes. Yeah, so he ripped one off. I got out and I ripped the other one off. Yeah, and he said, if you want the money, you're going to have to get a commercial plate. Well, what am I going to do? No, luckily he didn't give me a ticket, so I drove home, showered, changed so I looked nice for my appointment. <clears throat> and drove back, picked up some coffee for Karen and I before I left, got back to the boat, you know, told her what happened. Yeah, she thought it was funny. Uh, anyway. As long as it doesn't cost any money, things like that are funny to me. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, at any rate, it's getting pretty close to the time for me to leave, so... I got the stuff that I needed, went outside, <clears throat> jumped onto the uh, swim platform, stepped out onto the dock, and it had rained the night before. My feet went flying out from under me. Don't ask me why I didn't hit anything, but right into the water. Lost the coffee cup, no, no, where that one. It came back up and me and I just scrambled back onto the dock. Karen didn't know what happened, she just heard a loud bang. <laughs> All right, now I gotta get to my appointment. I am totally soaking wet from head to toe. All I have in the boat is the an old shirt, some cut off shorts, and a pair of sandals. I ended up, I had to change. Tried to get my appointment, you know, canceled. I couldn't do that. So, showed up, got everything done, the people were understanding. <clears throat> you know, That's it? That was pretty much my great day. Well, I remember it a little bit differently. Um, well, actually not the... I don't really remember it differently because I was down in the cabin part of the boat 
And he said goodbye to me, walked up to the top part of the deck, and um, I was sitting enjoying my coffee, thinking about laying down and going to sleep for a while, and I heard this god-awful noise, the banging, him falling. Now, horrible things went through my mind because, first of all, he doesn't swim. He can do a dog paddle if he had to, but that's about it. He doesn't float, he doesn't swim, he doesn't do anything like that. So I go up, and I don't see him right away. So I'm a tad worried about where he might actually be. But he did. He's <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't that deep. However, where the boat was, it wasn't a question of the water being very deep. There was a lot of mud at the bottom. So if you were sinking or whatever, you're going to be in mud. So, of course, when he did surface and come up and everything, I was happy to see him, but I was also hysterically laughing. I tend to have a very sadistic sense of humor, which I don't know whether it's nerves or what, but if I see something horrible happen, my first reaction is to laugh. And it's not always welcomed by the person that's having the problem. Like when we were had our first home in Hopkinton, we had little dogs, much the size of her, uh, Lazo, Opsos, cutest things in the world, uh, not very well trained. And we had hardwood floors. And um, we were having a, well, I'd gone downstairs for something. I know it was nighttime. And I can't remember if I was in the kitchen and I heard him. For all I know is he took one step at the top of the stairs, and our house was a tri-level, so there were like six stairs, and you were down to the living area, and then there were another six stairs down to the family. There was a big family room down there, my laundry was down there, and there was a cedar closet down there. Anyway, he, <laughs> I, I was in the kitchen, and I didn't see him, but I heard him. He apparently took one step into a puddle and <laughs> hit the remains. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm still laughing about it because it was fun. Hit the remaining step. When you fell down the stairs, in Hopkinton, <laughs> after stepping in a puddle. That was funny. Hmm? When you fell down the Yeah, street, what about it? I thought it was funny. You didn't think it was so funny when it happened. Yeah, I fell down and hit the wall on the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Mm. This video is not going very well. Hmm. I don't like this video. Hmm? I don't like this video. It's not going good. I don't know. We got this isn't this isn't going good. I don't I, I don't think we're gonna post this video. Not our best. No.